Hello, thank you for clicking on London Century, the Human Power Journeys channel. Let's say you have 48 hours a weekend or something like that. Maybe a, an extra tiny little bit of the Friday evening or something. And you fancy a bike ride. Well, what could you do with that, eh? Well, this is the kind of question we like to ask here at London Century. What could you do? Where could you go? Fancy going somewhere different? Remember, 48 hours, or maybe 50, but not much more than that, okay? How many places could you go? How many countries could you get round? Obviously, it depends where you start. But assuming London, well, what's it gonna be? Two, three, four, five? Could you get round five? I say get round, I mean, you know, visit and not just cross the border. These are the questions we like to ask here at London Century. I suppose what I'm saying is, I should call this ride, how many countries can you visit in a weekend? Well, I'm gonna shoot for four, because that seems fairly safe. If that goes well, maybe I'll come back and have a go for five. But for the moment, Let's aim for four. Seems like the most obvious thing to do is to start off by heading for a channel port, get a ferry. So, Dover, here I come. Oh yeah, I forgot a couple of other rules. No trains. Only public transport allowed is ferries. So why Dover's a good one to start for me, because there's two ferry companies and two destinations, Calais and Dunkirk. So I don't have a booking, I'll just get there and take the first sailing available, see where it's going, ride from wherever. They're so close together anyway. Some of the ferries are 25 quid, some of them are 30, 37 I think. One way of stopping it costing is by not taking any night stops. I just sleep on the ferry, crossing the Medway. And I've just realized that I haven't said yet which countries it is that I'm planning to try to tick off. Although I would have thought it's fairly obvious. Should be uh, France, Belgium, Holland, back to the UK again. If you want to get it up to five, remember it's in 48 hours, then you're probably, from my looking at the map, I probably want to throw in either Germany or Luxembourg, both of which are a longish loop. It starts getting really difficult. As it is, I think this one should be pretty chill. Plenty of time for stopping for a a nice cup of coffee or two along the way. Nice and relaxed. Holiday pace. Because I plan to get the ferry back from Holland, from near Rotterdam, Hook of Holland. Fantastic May evening for the ride to Dover. Really very nice. got to the ferry port and I've got a ticket for the two o'clock in the morning ferry. Oh well that took ages. First of all I got to Dover before midnight but but couldn't get on a sailing until 2 a.m. Then the boat was delayed getting into Dover then it was delayed getting across the channel as well. So it's now half past five in the morning and um, I think I'm in France. So, country number two, France. Okay, correction, first mistake. Well, first mistake was uh, the ferry being delayed. Second mistake, it's not half past five in the morning, it's half past six in the morning, because it's French time, isn't it? They've got an hour less than I thought I'd have. But refusing to be put off by all of this, I'm gonna head to Bruges because I've heard that it's nice. So maybe I could get a cup of coffee there or lunch or something. 
and then head up towards Rotterdam to get the ferry back from Hook of Holland tonight. At least I have a nice morning for it. Really very beautiful here. Well, France turned into Belgium and I gotta be approaching Bruges now. Can't be more than 10, 15 miles away. And it's barely 10 o'clock in the morning. Local time, not UK time. So I'm doing pretty well. You know, I never thought I'd say it about Belgium, but it's quite beautiful. Maybe I just got lucky and found the one beautiful road in the country, I don't know, but it's really nice. See what I mean? Well, I never knew that there was a smart part of Belgium. Bruges. Oh, yeah. Get over this. Freaky bottom bracket, haven't I? We'll fix that when I get home. Oh, I'm loving this place. What a hit. It just goes on and on. There's loads of it. Well, so that was Bruges, and I'm very glad that's on my radar now. Cost me 30 quid to get here on the ferry, leave London in the uh, evening and arrive for a late breakfast. I think that's well worth having on the radar, actually. About 100 kilometers from Dunkirk, it was a really easy ride. And the cheap way of getting home from here is back the same way from either Calais or Dunkirk. The flaw in my plan is that the crossing I'm gonna to use tonight from Hooker Holland to Harwich it's really expensive. So I've obviously been really unfair about Belgium in the past. It's a completely unexpected bonus of this ride to discover all of this. I mean, it's really very nice. Oh, hang on. Another mistake. It's Holland now. It was Belgium, it's now turned into Holland. Yes, this is definitely Holland. So I'm going to follow the coast pretty much all the way to Rotterdam, now in Hook of Holland. And as I remember, there are various islands along the route that are joined either by causeways or bridges and stuff. So there'll be lots and lots of water and sky for the next bit, I think. Well, as it turns out, it's not a causeway or a bridge. This bit's linked, uh, because it's Holland, this bit is linked by a, a special bicycle and pedestrian ferry, which um, Holland, land of windmills. Got it? Even through the rain. They're all over the place, because I'm in Holland. Gosh. This looks industrial, doesn't it? That's the North Sea to the left. Another island up ahead, I suppose. So it's causeway after causeway after causeway. Straight into the headwind and the rain. Really heavy going now. Well, the rain just kept on raining. So I didn't get the camera out and 
here I am pulling into uh, Hook of Holland. Oh, there's the ship over there somewhere. Uh, oh, you can see some trees. No, there you go. Great big ship. That's what I want to be on. One of them, I think. Well, that was the ferry. Thanks. So next step, Harwich to London. I feel as though I got a bit unlucky with that weather yesterday afternoon in the Netherlands. I've been hoping for some nice shots for the video of beaches and the causeways between the islands. It was absolutely hideous. I think Holland's loss was Belgium's gain yesterday. I think that's gonna come out looking quite nice, I would have thought. I certainly felt that way anyway. What time was it I left London the day before yesterday? It was either five or half past, wasn't it? I know it's before six. Because I'm going to be back loads before 48 hours is up. I'm thinking that I should have gone for five countries, not four. Should have tried to get to Germany as well, shouldn't I? I wasn't ambitious enough. I know a lot of you watching this would have been out to enjoy Ride London, which is being held today. And it looks like you've got a really good day for it. And it's not just Holland that has windmills, because Essex is looking good today. Well, not so far to go now. I came back over the Woolwich Ferry to make a change, back via Greenwich and Blackheath. Same way I went out. And there you have it. The end of a really nice 48 hour jaunt. The point is, it squeezes nicely into a weekend. So that was a bit of France, Belgium, the Netherlands, back to the UK again. I'll be back with another human powered journey pretty soon. Thanks ever so much for watching. Happy riding.